இது உங்கள் பாசத்துக்கூடிய மெட்ராஸ் மோட்டர் மண்டே வென் யூ பை அ பைக் இட் கம்ஸ் பேர் ஸ்டாக் அண்ட் தென் வி மேக் அ ரெடிஷன்ஸ் டு இட் ஃபியூ ஆஃப் தி சஜஷன்ஸ் வில் சேஃப் கார்ட் த பைக் அண்ட் ஃபியூ ஆஃப் தி சஜஷன்ஸ் வில் சேஃப் கார்ட் அஸ் வி ஆல்சோ மேக் அ ஃபியூ அடிஷன்ஸ் டு த பைக் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் அவர் நீட்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரிஃபரன்சஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி கோன் பி லுக்கிங் அட் த மாடிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் தட் ஆஃப் டன் டு மை பின் எல்இடி என் டி த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் பிஃபோர் வி கோ ஹேட் ஐ வாண்ட் கிவ் அ ஹியூ ஷார்ட் அவுட் டு அரவிந்த் ஃபோட்டோகிராஃபி ஃபார் ஹெல்பிங் மீ மேக் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ போஸ்டட் ஆல் ஆஃப் திஸ் சோஷியல் ஹேண்டல்ஸ் இன் தி டெஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் அண்ட் டூ செக் அம் அவுட் நவ் லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்ட் இட் The first and the most important modification that I did to my bike was adding these frame sliders. These frame sliders I got them from Benelli themselves and they cost you about 4000 rupees and you get a pair of two, two in front and two in rear. Installation process is also very simple but mine was carried out by Benelli folks themselves. Also, if you have a fall, it's going to save your radiator cowl, your tank, your fork, etc. If you're a corner junkie and you love attacking corners, make sure that you remove the rear ones you know why i'm saying that this is a b twin mud flap primarily used for bicycles which i got it from the catalon it costs about 50 rupees and binil vargis a fellow 300 owner and a very good friend of mine suggested this this is a very cheap alternative for your radiator guard this has been on my bike for about 1 and 1/2 years and it has protected my radiator from any muck sand for any debris for that matter the installation process can be a little bit tricky wherein you'll have to remove the mud guard you'll have to cut off the edges on the beat flint mud flap slap this inside and then put this back on if you guys need any help just let me know and i'll post a do it yourself video pretty soon One of the most basic accessories which I feel you should have on your bike is a USB charger. Often times during touring you will have to use your mobile phone for navigation or recharge your GoPro batteries. So this USB charger comes very much in handy. The one that I have on my bike is a Rydon Robotouch charger and it is 100% waterproof provided you keep the USB slot closed. The installation is fairly simple but mine was taken care by the Benelli folks during one of my services. Also if you notice the wiring goes very close to the engine wherein maximum heat is generated but I haven't faced any malfunctions till date. The immediate purchase which you need to do if you install a USB charger will be a mobile holder. I bought this from Amazon costed me around 600 rupees and I did the installation by myself. It helps me mount my mobile when I'm on tour also helps me charge simultaneously. I was actively looking out for handguards which were affordable yet effective. The whole sole purpose of installing a handguard is to make sure that if you have a fall, your brake levers do not get damaged and your fingers as well. So I came across the KTM handguards and they cost it around 1000 rupees a pair. I also consulted with a few KTM owners and they gave me pretty good feedback. So I got them installed. The installation process is a bit complex, but I'll be posting a video pretty soon. Please note that they come in white. and i got it painted black by gideon the go to guy for bike customization one of the major reason for fatigue is wind blast so i was looking for a windshield and i came across the peugeot rafale universal windshield by universal what i mean is that they fit on naked bikes like the old duke 390 the duke 200 mahindra mojo the Kawasaki Z800 and the ER610. They come in three variants. One is semi smoke, clear, and then dark smoke. The reason why I chose the dark smoke is not just because it goes along with the bike, but I'm 5 foot 8 inches and I'm not going to be viewing through the windshield at any point in time. The installation process is a bit complex and I'll be posting a video for this as well. After installing this, cruising at around 120 130 is as easy as it sounds. Also I bought it in the US so it costed me somewhere between 6000 and 7000 rupees but if you were to buy it in India it's going to cost anywhere between 13000 and 15000 rupees As you all know that the Benelli lights are not up to the mark I wanted to get a set of auxiliary lights installed on my bike I consulted with a few folks and this is the recommendation that they gave me 
It costs around 2,500 rupees. I bought this from Amazon. They are powered by 20 watts, 6,600 luminous bulbs. I was recently on a 3,500 kilometers ride and I was relying on these and they were really effective. The installation is complex unless and until you are very much aware of the wiring system of the bike, which I really wouldn't recommend you touching them. I got it done from a reliable source and I posted his contact details in the description. There are a couple of ways in which you can um, configure the auxiliary lights. Either you can have a separate switch, which is what I have done, and you've got its details in the description as well. The paint protector film is a thin transparent sheet which is applied on areas which are more prone to scratches and vandalism. So I've got it done on my tank. This was done by Modern Beauty Cars and you can find their contact details in the description. So these are the modifications that I've done to my bike which I thought will add great value to it and also improve the driving experience. In the near future, if I add any more modifications, I'll make sure I keep you guys posted. If you guys like this video, do hit the like button, do hit the share button and post your comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. This is your boy Shanky the Metalas Motorhead and Arvind Photography signing off. Until next video, drive safe, drive hard and I'll see you guys soon. Adios.